At this point, it's practically muscle memory. So I'm just going to cover this for the next patient. Dr. Ricardo Gonzalez Fisher with Servicios de la Raza preps the COVID-19 vaccine for anyone who wants it. One third of the people that we're vaccinating currently are getting their first dose. Ready? Yeah. People like Anthony Lopez. We just happened to be driving by and I saw the COVID. I was like, you know what? We need to get vaccinated. And here we are. <laughs> He came with his daughter to finally get their first round of the Pfizer shot. Yeah, you know, I guess sometimes we just got to quit being old and stubborn and just try and keep an open mind and the world ain't going to wait for us. Despite yeah. the good spirit, Servicio de la Raza, who works closely with Denver's Latino community, says their vaccine clinics have seen a dip in people showing up lately. And data shows there's still people here who need their shots. The latest numbers show 47% of Hispanic people in Denver County are fully vaccinated against COVID, compared to 83% white, non-Hispanic people. Dr. Gonzalez Fisher says this could be for a few reasons. I think that people are listening to the idea that we are over with the pandemic. I think that this is a misconception. We still have people who have some kind of uh, fear of the immigration authorities and they don't want to show further information. But more than anything else, they listen to some kind of information that comes through social media and that makes them hesitant. COVID case counts are looking better but he's hoping to stick around as long as it takes to help the community members trust the system. So in this moment, let's enjoy it, but let's prepare for the next moment. We're all done. That's it. That's it. Doing so bad. Yeah. Next weekend, they'll be in Colorado Springs doing much of the same with that mobile unit that you just saw there. Steve, we also told you about another group near around the Commerce City area, Adelante Community Development. They're still hosting vaccine clinics at a flea market up there in that area. They also recently got another large shipment of at-home test kits to hand out. They're still doing that too. And you heard Dr. Uh, Gonzalez Fisher there talk about trust. A lot of these organizations have spent a lot of time building up trust in the community. Absolutely. And when you talk to the people that actually go to these clinics, like uh, Anthony Lopez and his daughter there, uh, they already knew about Servicios de la Raza. They live near that community center there. Uh, they see the events that go on. So that pretty much built up a little bit more trust, actually, once they saw the free uh, COVID-19 vaccine sign to go and get a shot. There you go. Luis De Leon reporting. Appreciate it. Thank you.